Hello guys, it's Crafty Fox, and today I'm going to show you how to build Spencer from Thomas Friends. So he is the Duke and Duchess's uh, private engine, and he's uh, pretty fast. Uh, I think his real life model is the A4, which is the Mallard. You can see, like, this is <laughs> the Mallard in real life, what I would do. Uh, this is still not done, by the way. But yeah, this was another commission that I got, and if you want to do commissions, you can just check out my Silify page. Uh, link in the description and uh, yeah let's get started so first off let's make the front part so we're gonna go three blocks above the ground and let's take our nether brick stairs and add uh, three upside down ones right in the middle Spencer is gonna be a bit tricky to make compared to the other engines and then let's add black wool after it. Uh, let's make it five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five. Three blocks wide. And yeah, let's add another two blocks right there. All right, so once we're done with that, let's uh, work on the sides a bit. So we're gonna take a uh, block of quartz and add two over here like that and add a quartz stairs in the front and below the quartz stairs we're gonna have a piston for the buffers and let me see did I hide the pistons nope they're right behind so you're just gonna take a lever and just pull that right behind this block so that we can extract the pistons and uh, next let's take uh, gray wool go down here and just add that in the middle right here and uh, let's make it six blocks long so one two three four five six and then let's add the tiny wheels in the front so we're gonna take our quartz and start off the first wheel right there And then let's do the other side as well. And then uh, we're gonna add their second pair of wheels. I'll leave a uh, gap of two blocks between that. Do the same thing on this side. Alright, so once we're done with that, let's take our block of quartz and add that uh, right over here in the middle of that and uh, make it 2 by 3 going up like that and then let's add a uh, quartz stairs right here and then a quartz slab to connect it to the front and let's do the same thing on the other side. So just make a 2 by 3 then add the stairs and the slab. Alright, so once we're done with that, let's take our slab, add that right here above this block, and we're going to make it 6 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Do the same thing on the other side. And then we're going to go down a half slab. So that's going to be uh, five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, and then go down again, do another five, three, four, five, and then go down again. And this is going to be five also. So one, two, three, four, five. And uh, you just want to do the same thing on the other side. So just try to match it up. Oops. And we're going to go down again. Two, three, five. All right, so once we're done with that, uh, let's go back to the middle and continue this uh, gray block. I think we actually have a mixture. It doesn't really matter if you use gray or black. I, just, I think I use both. So let me just use gray for now. Just go all the way to the back. Like that. And then let's start on the big wheels. So we're going to use these giant massive wheels, which are like a 4x4. Four four. 
and uh, we're gonna just leave a gap right here so it's gonna start like here just make a 2 by 4 and then just add these at the bottom and the top actually you don't really need the top of the wheel but uh, let's just make it solid because that won't really show I think actually does it I mean I can't really see anything Wait, one, two, three. Oh, okay. So I think it barely shows right here, but I didn't show in the original one. Oh well. So yeah, we're just making the wheel, I guess, if I, if you wanted to. And then we're gonna leave gap of space between them, and we're gonna have three pairs of these wheels. So second one, and then third one. And just add the quartz stairs in the bottom corners. And the top ones as well, if you want to. Alright, though, let's do that same thing on the other side. Yep, just skip one. <laughs> And the last one. Then we're just going to add the corners again. You know, I originally built Spencer with like 3x3 wheels and that was a little bit smaller. I wonder if I still have it. Is this? No, I don't. I think I got rid of it. But yeah, I had another model of that and I had to redo it so that we can match up with Gordon. Alright, so after we do that, let's add a 2x3 of quartz right here. 2x3. And in the middle, um, we should probably work on the face. So we're going to take a black wall, just add three blocks like that. And then uh, right here in the middle, we want to add another brick. Uh, fence right there for a coupling and let's add uh, these end rods right on top of the stairs and it's actually the first time I'm gonna use it for the build I think it's yeah it's way better than if I did a fence so only downside is a little pink but it doesn't really matter that much so next thing we're gonna do is add black wool right here just make it three blocks tall. Then go uh, to the side at the top and make that three blocks tall as well. Then just add these two on top. And then in the middle, we're going to have three of them like that. All right, then we're going to take uh, another brick slab, just add two on top for the smokestack and two on the sides. And then let's make his face, which is just a block of quartz at the bottom, then quartz stairs, then block of quartz, and then quartz slab on top. So that's his face. And uh, let's work on his body. So go to the side here, just make this little L shape underneath these slabs. And we're going to have to add uh, the red wool for his nameplate which is three blocks of red wool on each side so it looks like that and then let's add quartz on top of that and let's go back over here and we can actually just fill in this entire area with uh, quartz blocks so from these three layers just fill that in block of quartz just entirely So it does go show a little above the wheel. Yeah, and just fill this in as well. We don't want any of that showing. And since it's getting towards summer, it is really hot <laughs> these days. I wish I could turn on the AC, but as I said before, it was too loud. 
And I even opened the window. Alright, and then just add more quartz. And let's add another two layers, so like this. Just continue it. This side as well. Alright, so after we do that, let's continue this quartz wall a little past this uh, three blocks of quartz. So there's like this little slope there, that's what it's supposed to be. Not, It's not the cab yet. So, uh, what should we work on next? So let's take a stone button and just add two of them, like this, diagonally. And then we're going to get back to that because he does have like this rod that goes across. So next let's go down here and add um, let's see, six uh, blocks of quartz. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Both sides. And then let's add a uh, gray wool. Yeah, we just need to connect to it. And there should be another wheel right here in the back. So we're going to take our block of quartz, I mean our quartz uh, stairs, and we're going to start that off right here. Just make another small wheel. Do the same thing on the other side, and the wheel's going to be covered soon with more gray wool. So we're just going to take gray wool and add five blocks, so one, two, three, four, five. Same thing on the other side. Alright, next thing we're going to do is make this uh, two blocks taller. So we're going to add this wall, so now we're going to start off with the cab now. And uh, you want to make the C shape. Uh, right here, like a little hook, so you just build a C on top of it, like that, on both sides. And then let's add a uh, 2 by 2 square of uh, black stained glass. And then one of them diagonally like so, so that you could see from the front. And let's add block of quartz just to fill in the little holes like so. Alright, next let's go down here, just add a quartz block right there. And then uh, we're going to add 14 more after this block, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then let's take a piston and put that at the end. And let's do the same thing on the other side, so I'm just going to match it up. that and uh, you can just fill in the middle with uh, quartz. It doesn't really matter which what you put in the middle actually. Just fill that in. Quartz floor. And I have to do another tutorial after this so I'm gonna be sweating some more. Alright so after we're done with that uh, we can actually fill this area in with uh, gray wool so yeah if you want to make it like really match I guess you can have a gray wool floor here too but it doesn't really matter because then we're gonna fill the top in so you can't really see inside only like underneath so anyways we're gonna take a uh, quartz again and make a three block tall wall right here so re remember to leave a gap here and just extend it towards uh, the top of this piston here. And remember, I do the other side as well. I wonder if I, <laughs> I wonder how many times I said that a lot. Okay, it's actually the first Thomas the Tank Engine uh, <laughs> series 
uh, locomotive that I'm building which is an achievement usually I get like real-life locomotives so next let's add a lever and we're gonna place that right here like that and then in front of the lever let's add block of quartz and we're gonna sort of make this little doorway and that's gonna be four blocks tall of block of quartz and then we're gonna add another block in the top of the middle and stairs to make it more rounder on the edges so it should look like that and let's add another layer of quartz on top same thing on the other side as usual uh, we're gonna have three under here then our now the brick stairs just sticking out so Spencer actually has a lot of stairs on him like a little ladder system <laughs> like two on his tender and one for the cab I don't think there's one in the front though so we're gonna have one back here and then another one right here two of them so they're kinda alongside each other So we're just going to add that. So we're going to replace this uh, gray wall right there. All right. So once we added our stairs, we can add a gray wall going along its side in the middle. Hmm. Let's just fill this in with uh, gray wall. And that will make the build so much easier because then you don't have to worry about placing the top of the stairs right so yeah we're just gonna fill that in with, uh, the gray wool and then let's add another brick stairs for the wheels in the back the wheels they're gonna start right there so skip these two blocks from the back then we're gonna start making the wheel we're gonna leave a gap of one block between each wheel and there's gonna be four of them on each side so there's four axles so that's three and this is four let's go do the same thing on the other side nope that's not right I don't know if you can hear this but there's like kids outside playing I wonder if my mic can pick that up. All right, so after we do that, let's take a block of quartz and just fill this hole in. We don't want that. And let's go towards the front of the tender, and we're gonna make a wall right here. It's gonna be uh, slightly taller, so we'll have uh, three blocks sticking out like that, and uh, we're gonna make it a little triangle shape like that with a point and we're gonna take quartz stairs and add four to the side so one two three and then the fourth one we're gonna curve it and do the same thing on this side alright so after we did we did that we're gonna add some more quartz and we're sort of making a pyramid right now so I just added two quartz stairs to the sides and let's add three in the middle like that and fill this in with quartz Alright, so then we're going to take a quartz slab and just fill in this layer right here. You can see I already did it. I had to <laughs> re-record this because I made a mistake. But oh well, we're just going to fill this layer in. And then we're going to take a block of quartz and make this sort of a border around the black hole right there. And that's going to be four blocks long. The hole is two blocks long, and we're just gonna fill that in with black wool. And for this area, we're gonna take a block of coal and just fill that in. All right. So the next thing we're gonna do is go towards the cab, and on the top and the sides, we're gonna add uh, another brick slabs, like so, and. Uh, Right here, nether brick stairs in the front of the cab. Then we're gonna take uh, 
black wool just add that in the middle so that it goes to a point and just fill in the top of the cab roof with black wool uh, in the original one I had a little arch right there with the another brick slab so if you want to be a little bit more accurate uh, you can add the slab right here and you can put the top uh, black carpet so that you can kind of see it's not just all flat alright so then let's go to the side and add iron bars which are three blocks uh, tall just add that right here both sides actually we're gonna cut this down a bit like that and uh, the next thing we're gonna do is uh, go over here and take uh, court stairs and we're gonna go all the way towards the front huh so actually let's start towards the front anyway so we're gonna take court slab just make the C shape and then now let's add the court stairs okay maybe one more so add another row of court slab and then we can start uh, the court stairs on the sides to add a little curvature I guess it adds more aerodynamic when I first built this I just made it all like boxy but now it has a little curve which is nice and then in the middle let's fill in the roof with quartz blocks okay so after we're done with that let's take our uh, stone button and finish up this line so it's gonna be every other block is a stone button and we're gonna do that until we reach the cab same thing on the other side like that alright so once we're done with the stone buttons can for some reason this version looks a lot better than that one even though there's the exact same thing so anyways let's take our uh, stone slab I'm gonna add that uh, double slab right there what is it right here double slab and then we're gonna add a quartz uh, stairs right here underneath this nook and let's do the same thing on the other side so uh, double stone slab right there and then add the court stairs in that little nook then we're gonna have to design that so to make uh, the side rods or like the entire piston we're gonna have to add a stone slab right here it's gonna be a little complex so add one stone slab then three double then yeah let's add one after that and then a double and then one and let's do the same thing on the other side so one slab then double 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 and then yeah we just continue it so it should look like this at least that's what I remembered and once we're done with that let's add a duplication of this just uh, one block down and a stone stone block right there and then this sort of goes on to the back wheel so yeah just continue that all the way so that we're kinda in the middle of the back wheel and let's do the same thing on the other side so just gonna add stone yeah we're gonna duplicate this thing down then add the stone and then let's continue the stone slab all the way to the middle of the third axle let's go back to this model add three right here two diagonally so three like that one two three alright so I wonder if that's the entire piston yeah it looks like it I thought it was gonna be a lot harder but it was not that hard alright so the next thing we're gonna work on is uh see what else we can do with this
Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is go right here. You don't need to do this, but if you want to, just add a stone brick slab right here just to connect the locomotive and the tender, like so. And that's basically it on how to build Spencer from Thomas and Friends. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you do, please hit that like button below and subscribe if you have any because I will be uploading more videos in the future. And I will see you guys next time. And also, if you want to do commissions, just check out my Selfie. Alright, bye.